Hi, it's Cupcake, and I just wanted to film another little video about what I've been eating because it seems to change a lot. I'm about nine weeks out from VSG surgery, and I haven't shown my vitamins yet, and I figured I would do that first. This is what I'm currently taking. Uh, Centrum Chewable Adults Orange Burst, and they do not taste very good. They're super chalky. I've tried to swallow pills, and I can't swallow anything more than like a small Tylenol still without it feeling like it's getting stuck. And so I am still doing like chewables. This is what I take every day. I've been taking these once a day sublingual so you stick it under your tongue and it dissolves and these taste really good so I don't mind taking these at all um, these centrum ones they actually they make me kind of nauseous sometimes depending on um, whether I've eaten something or not they haven't actually made me throw up but yeah, they do make me feel nauseous I will be looking for a different vitamin once I finish this bottle also, I started taking these. My friend at work gave these to me. They're also chalky, but they taste okay. Taste like chocolate. Um, kind of like, I guess, if you were to get a little bit of uh, hot chocolate powder, you know, if you're making hot chocolate, that's what it kind of tastes like to me. Also vitamin-y, but anyway, I've been taking these once a day. I can't take these at the same time as my other vitamins so um, I'm going to tr start trying to take these at night and then my other vitamins during the day since I feel like I mean the point of the B12 is to give me energy. That's all I take as far as vitamins go and then I'm taking protonics for heartburn uh, once a day and I take lisinopril for high blood pressure once a day. I don't plan on being on either of those medications for for too much longer, I'm hoping that, you know, I can be weaned off of the, the high blood pressure meds. And as far as the protonics goes, right now, like I don't feel like I get a lot of heartburn, but um, I do feel when I take it, I'm not as hungry. So for me, that's a plus because I've been feeling extra hungry lately. I was also going to show off this. Um, I did... I was having an issue having a bowel movement, so I decided to try it because this is what was recommended by the PA that I saw, so I just gave in. It was only four bucks, and so I was like, all right, I'll just try it. And it did work. Um, however, the next day, um, it gave me diarrhea. And my husband was kind of like, I told you it would, but I, you know, only having to have a bowel movement like twice a week, maybe three times. Um, a week I was just like I, I don't think that it will but yeah I definitely did and it was unpleasant so I'm gonna try to avoid using this I might eat like try the like smooth move tea because I really don't like having to take medication to use the bathroom but this this doesn't taste too terrible um, it is the cherry flavor so it's not like too terrible um, it's also chalky but it's a, a liquid and um, I, I really I only did uh, the smallest adult dose of it, I think, which is 30 milliliters. I, I don't think that I could do more than that. So anyway, I did take that this week. We did go to Costco because uh, we do have a membership and we haven't been using it since I eat such a small amount. My husband doesn't always like the stuff that we buy there. And, you know, since you're buying in bulk, you kind of need to like the things that you buy. So but we did go because we've been spending a lot on water and uh, we decided to try life water. And I think this is, even though like my husband thinks it's not as good as the Fiji, for me like the Fiji tastes good but at the same time I'm not really like big on water. I mean I still drink, I try and drink 64 ounces of liquids every day but um, I'm not a big fan of water. And so for me, it doesn't make too much of a difference. I mean, it definitely tastes better than like the Arrowhead that we were drinking for a long time. We don't drink tap water because it's gross. Um, the tap water here is, I'm not saying all tap water is gross, but our tap water here is gross. So we do buy a bottled water and um, we got two 12 packs and it was, it was cheaper than the Fiji. It was cheaper than 
like we started, we tried the like Kroger brand, um, like electrolyte and alkaline water, which wasn't, oh, excuse me, it wasn't bad either. But this was actually even cheaper than that because those on sale were 79 cents for like 23 ounces and this is a liter and I think it worked out to be a dollar or less than a dollar uh, per bottle and so that's really good since I'm drinking so much water. So I like this Life Water. I usually add the Dasani drops that I've shown in my other videos to it. Um, I'm always looking for different flavors to try. I have tried like, um, like lemon, um, not like fresh lemon, but like lemon, little lemon packets that somebody at work gave me. And I'm just not that big of a fan of lemon water um, or lime water. At, you know, I was hoping that I would be, and I, you know, maybe it would be different if I tried fresh lemons or fresh limes, but, um, but yeah, I, I kind of like my water to be a little sweet, um, but those Dasani drops, like, they're not overwhelmingly sweet, like Crystal Light, I feel, can be, um, so I'm a big fan of those, uh, so far, but I'll definitely be looking for other, other flavors, because I get tired of drinking the same things all the time. We also bought this uh, honey roasted turkey breast. Um, I don't think that we're going to end up eating it all before it goes bad, which is unfortunate, but it really looked good and I really wanted it. But I've only had a little bit of it that my husband, uh, he made me kind of an omelet, um, like a Japanese omelet, I forget what it's called, but in his little Japanese egg pan and um, he put some of this in it and so I haven't really tasted it otherwise so I'm gonna be eating it probably as snacks and stuff this weekend um, he's making meatballs tonight so I'm excited about that so we're gonna do meatballs for dinner but I'll probably have this you know maybe for breakfast lunch and dinner I don't know tomorrow so that I can you know get um, as much out of it as possible because it does say to like use within a certain time. I also bought these. I was these Premier Protein Bars and I was really kind of up in the air about you know whether I should get protein shakes or whether I should do protein bars. Um, as far as my surgeon's office goes they don't want us to do uh, protein shakes. Um, they don't want us to drink our calories and whatnot, but I don't get enough protein in, and I do feel tired a lot of the time during the day. Um, you know, I've started working out more, and I was, I don't know, it was just a dilemma for me, because, you know, sometimes I feel like they just want to see results, you know, and um, maybe losing weight without um, as much protein as I should be having, maybe isn't the healthiest thing for me, but um, we'll see what happens. So I just, I decided to get bars instead because that way at least I'm not drinking my calories, which I think it's fine if people have protein shakes. You know, I know that if you're not like using the energy that you're given, like that it can make you gain weight. Anyway, I decided to go with the bars and they're cheaper anyway. Like I think um, the shakes were $24 and these were on sale they were like $10 or something for 22 bars and this is gonna last me a while because literally I've only eaten two of them so far um, I have tried the salted caramel I had um, I can only eat a half at most but I feel like maybe a third of one of these is a more comfortable place to be because they do make me incredibly full when I eat them. Um, so I ate this in two, um, two halves and um, it does taste like a protein bar. It's not the best tasting thing ever, but it's not disgusting, you know, but I mean, it does taste like a protein bar. So if you've had protein bars before, I mean, it kind of reminded me of like the, the chocolate chip slim fast bars or maybe it was Atkins you know that I've had in the past which again they don't taste terrible but in you know in comparison to other things they're it's a protein bar so I, I don't know how much you can really expect but they're okay um, I've also had this uh, this chocolate mint one 
which I didn't feel like was as dense. It was easier for me to, even on the package, to me it looks a little smaller than, than the salted caramel, but that could just be my mind. Um, so the dark chocolate mint, it smells like Girl Scout cookies, oh, Thin Mints. Um, it smells like that, and so it's really appealing, and it was just easier for me to get down. Now again, I, I ate it in two halves, and um, yeah, I don't mind those ones as much as the caramel, but I'm sure that I'll probably eat them. You know, it's just going to take me a while. They also have the peanut butter crunch, which I have not tried yet. So the next time I have one, I will have a peanut butter one. Okay, I'll just show you the stuff in there real quick. Kind of see them. Okay, so... Really when I'm looking at food labels, I'm mostly looking at the carbs and the protein. Um, so these have 26 carbs for the whole bar and 30 grams of protein for the whole bar. So if I'm eating half of one, it's 13 grams of carbs and it is 15 grams protein, which is more protein than like anything that I ever eat. <laughs> I'm gonna monitor my weight and see, you know, if they start making me like gain weight, I'm gonna have to work harder and I'm also probably gonna lay off of them. But I've been eating like between half of one and one a day. As far as like whether it gives me more energy, um, it remains to be seen. I bought these, they were on sale at Costco right now, and uh, so I feel like they were a pretty good purchase. I was also gonna show you like I have been drinking V8. I only drink it I generally only drink it on the weekends unless I'm having like a craving for it but I will drink a whole can like right after surgery I was thinking that oh maybe you know cuz I had bought a big thing of these like at Costco before I had surgery um, I was thinking maybe like I'll get you know the small cans because um, I was a little worried about it but but now I can easily drink a whole can so um, these only have 70 calories for the whole can they have 14 carbs and two protein and of course it's uh two servings of vegetable for the whole of vegetables for the whole can 14 carbs i don't feel like that's bad because it's coming from vegetables and i only have them one or two times a week i like the spicy ones too but but i haven't had any in a while and then i also bought these at Costco and I'm hoping that they have more because I am crazy about these. These taste so good, at least to me. And the majority of the people that I've had try them like at work and um, liked them. My husband wasn't a fan of them, but um, like all my coworkers that had tried them really liked them except one who thought that they were disgusting. She said they were kind of like greasy, but I, I don't personally think they're too greasy. They are crunchy and um, and it's it's cheese and bacon i mean that's hard not to like so anyway what i really like is the stats on these um for six pieces there are nine carbs and 10 grams of protein which i think is really good for for a snack you know, at times i'll i'll just eat like three of them as a snack but sometimes i'll eat six of them at a time, it just depends. Like I said, I've been feeling hungrier lately. Um, this is the ingredients. They do have brown rice and organic oat bran in them. You know, I'm not really supposed to have rice um, or oats or anything like that at this point, um, but I love these and I feel like this, the stats are decent enough that, that, yeah, that I feel like this is a pretty good snack and I think that they're delicious. So I plan to pick up more of these. I don't remember how much they were. They were probably somewhere in the ballpark of $10 or less. Um, so nothing crazy. So that's just a little bit about what I have been eating and like the vitamins that I'm taking. And yeah, I will probably end up filming another video later because the weekends are really the only time that I have the time and motivation <laughs> to make videos. Today for breakfast, I had a fried egg that my husband made for me with salt and pepper. It was really good. 
and um, he bought this uh, Himalayan pink salt at um, Costco and this was really good and this is what he used on my eggs and I really like it so um, and also this Archer Farms pepper corn grinder which I believe we got at Target so he used those on my egg this morning and it was delicious and I ate um, like seven eighths of it for lunch we had well so for dinner last night we had um, Taco Bell what I ordered there was the power bowl without rice and I ordered it with chicken since I can't have steak yet and um, it was it was good but I think next time I'll ask for no lettuce because I didn't eat the lettuce I haven't eaten lettuce yet I'm a little nervous to eat lettuce um, just because I know that sometimes it can cause obstructions plus it really has you know very little nutritional value and it can you know fill you up fast and but not keep you full anyway the powder bowl was pretty good it comes with like guacamole and sour cream and pico and chicken and black beans and so it was pretty it was pretty decent um, they're like five bucks or something like that but I also ordered um, a bean burrito with nacho cheese which if you haven't tried it and if you like their bean burritos um, then I would recommend trying it because you can just add ask them to add nacho cheese so I had one of those um, that I just put in the fridge because I intended to eat it today and so that's what I had for lunch I heated up um, the burrito I just stuck it in the microwave for a minute you know 30 seconds through I flipped it over stuck it in the microwave and then with burritos I just open up the tortilla and eat the insides and I think there was probably about um, probably about an ounce and a half of beans and cheese in there it could have been a little bit more but um, yeah so I ate the insides and then I had a couple bites of a piece of slice uh, sliced Swiss cheese so that's what I had for lunch and breakfast so far today. I did go ahead and download my fitness pal at the recommendation of um, short sleeve tea. Um, you know, I, I said that I would check it out and I like it except for it has kilojoules. I think that's how you say it. I'm not for sure. Instead of calories, I wish it had calories. Um, maybe I'm using it wrong, but um, otherwise I like it because it keeps track of how many you know like what my macros are so anyway uh, I guess that's all for now I'll try and film another video later which is like a, a quick update um, thanks guys for watching